Alrighty guys, I got it. Hold on, I think I'm really far from. Okay. Um. Before I forget to tell you, I've been meaning to tell you this for literally four or five days, but I keep forgetting because I have no time to really vlog or like have time to actually think about what I'm gonna vlog about. But, oh, okay. But, um, ever since we did those two shows, um, November second and November third, um. I was trying to, you know, not really change my voice, but get more tone out of my voice than um, range. So, um, whenever I do that, or whenever I sing lower, actually, I lose my voice easier, more easily. I don't know which one's correct. Um, more easily. So, um, I tried, you know, um, I don't even know how. <laughs> There's a Peter Brook chocolate guy <laughs> on the street. He was like, <laughs> anyways. Um, basically, I lost my voice in the in those two days because I tried um, opening up the throat more to get more resonance within the nasal cavity. And um, they say whenever you go higher, it sounds better if you do a deep. Uh, uh, sound other than a, uh, uh I, I can't explain it <laughs> but um I mean it sounded better especially when I was practicing but um it always hurts my voice more so um I've been trying to sing past um A above high C and I can't even do that as my voice just keeps like the throat is inflamed or something it's like literally the the um, tonsils are inflamed and I don't understand how it sounds better and it feels better but after the uh, performance it always hurts more than when I don't even worry about vocal tone so my voice is still not fully back it came back um, on Thanksgiving Day actually but I sang with uh, Christina because we were at a little um, little party and we had karaoke and we sang for literally like an hour. What is this person doing? Are you gonna go or what? Okay. Anyways, um, so it got lost there. Again, where am I going? I'm going to Ross. I'm going to Ross. So I was like, crap. Now I gotta ho have like a whole nother however many days to um, freaking um, get my voice back and ever since then it hasn't been like fully back I still can't hit C above middle mid, middle C on the piano and and um, it's just really scaring me because I hate it whenever I lose my voice usually I get it back within six to seven days but like once or twice a year, it'll be gone for a month. Like I could still sing below um, C, up above middle C, but I can't. I like I just I it really makes me aggravated because whenever I'm in the shower and I want to sing, I can't. I always it always sounds fine, and all of a sudden it just flips and I crack. And I don't know why. It's happening to me. I hate it when this happens. So, yeah. And then, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, I've been meaning to tell you this, but for this entire week, I've been listening, <laughs> this is gonna be, you guys are gonna be so disappointed in me, but to country music. And I, <laughs> I gotta admit guys, I really like it. <laughs> I mean, I've always like, you know, I never hated country music, I just never, like listen to it in the car and now I'm actually listening to well it's just one song it's Wanted by Hunter Hayes and I don't know I like it and I and I also think that's why my voice is not healing as fast as it should be because I keep trying to copy uh, the way that they sing <laughs> so it's like when you copy the way country people sing you have to um, do something to your soft palate and then put more resonance within the nasal cavity. I mean, within the throat as opposed to the nasal cavity or vice versa or whatever, you know. So, 
that's what I wanted to say. Uh, I, I know it took me a while to say it because I'm driving and I can't do two things at once because I'm a loser like that. Uh, and, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to say that my voice is not as healed as it should be. And I like country music now and I've been listening to it in my car and actually, I, I've been trying to copy their accent. So, yeah. And then we got our dishwasher fixed and there was a really tall country guy with his country son and they were like freaking six foot four each and then they had an accent and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Yeah, I will. What do I want to say? I don't know a fact. I didn't even think about a fact because I thought this was going to be a bonus clip, but um... I guess it's not anymore. And remember that tattoos are permanent.